Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be setting up the elevator from Better With Mods. I hope you guys are ready. Well, guys, today we have this hole. Um, I went ahead and dug out this hole. This takes you pretty far down um, into the mining levels. Um, and I have a staircase, so that way I could, uh, you know, go all the way down and come back up. Because I had to dig this hole straight down. I do have some plans with this. Let's uh, take care of Mr. Spider here. I know he's just kind of observing, but we need to get rid of him. Okay, there we go. Anyways, um, if we look down here, we can see he goes quite a ways down, and there's a staircase going all the way down, and we're going to use this to be our elevator into the underground mine shaft, so we don't have to take our, you know, derpy path <laughs> that we have set up over here to do this. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we don't have access to, to a lot of redstone uh, devices. So that's going to be a challenge, but I think we can manage. I think we can manage. I think we can make a pretty easy T flip flop with redstone that doesn't require anything fancy, just redstone torches, a piston, redstone block, and literally just a piece of redstone and a button. I think we, I think we're completely fine with that, but, uh, figuring out and getting it actually set up is going to be another thing. So let's go ahead and get started with this. One major component of this is going to be all the hemp. I've been farming up a bunch of hemp, um, so that should make it a little bit easier for us to get rope. Rope is going to be something that we definitely are going to need. I'm going to go ahead and just make a stack of it for right now. I don't know how much we're actually going to need. Well, we made a little more than a stack. Anyways, um, but let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay, so Better With Mods has a thing called an anchor. This is pretty easy to make. Um, let's open this up. We'll open it from here. There we go. We'll make an anchor. You're also going to need a few other things, and that is going to be a platform. Now, the platform requires wicker, which requires sugarcane. So, yeah, sugarcane is going to be a thing that we need to process. Now, the bad part is I was looking at possibly automating sugarcane. It's going to be pretty hard to automate sugarcane without access to a lot of different stuff. Um, we don't have access to any of the redstone things that make um, automating you know, sugarcane and vanilla easy. Um, so I, I don't really know exactly how I'm gonna go about that. I'm still thinking about how I'm gonna do that. We may honestly have to wait. Um, but for right now, the amount of sugarcane that we're getting is gonna be fine. If we want to upgrade our sugarcane production, SNAD is going to be the way to do that. <laughs> kind of a funny, funny thing, but SNAD is really a thing. Um, and we can go ahead and make a few of them and go ahead and replace our sugarcane with SNAD. How cool is that? Let's just go ahead and replace all this. And uh, we'll just, yeah, completely get rid of this whole line. There we go. All right. And I hope you're not in my way. You're not. But yeah, sugarcane will grow faster on SNAD. It definitely will. And I, I don't know if the bees actually help the sugarcane grow, but I don't know. It's worth a shot. <laughs> That's why I put it over there. Um, but Stad's gonna make it at least grow faster than, uh, the normal dirt anyways. Or normal sand. Alright, so we have that. Let's go ahead and get started on that wicker. And I hope we have enough just to make a little, you know, a small platform. We don't need anything fancy quite yet. But, uh, we are gonna need some. And I think we, I don't know if we have any platforms that we've made prior to this. I'm just gonna make 20. See how many that gets us. And I'll throw that in there. All right, looks like we're gonna need just regular wood. That's the problem with sometimes with this uh, device. It doesn't like to or dictionary everything. Okay, maybe that doesn't actually work. Oh, it's got uh, this. There we go. So now we can make a few platforms. So we're gonna need at least nine for the bottom. And I'm gonna have, I want a couple extending up. So I'm gonna need a little bit more wicker. And I think two more will be just fine. And, oh, that's why, because it's also got Better With Mods stuff added to it. So that way you can act, you, you can actually use the Better With Mods saw materials for that. That makes sense. Alright, so there's that. Let's go ahead and just make a few more. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, so the way this is going to work, or at least the way I'm going to have it work, is I want our platform to start here like this 
and this is going to be our elevator that goes down. Um, we will eventually be able to extend this, and I think I'm going to extend it one more so that it's too wide. It can go out three from the from the center here. So this can be a five by five platform. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so actually, I guess we can. It may be five or maybe seven. I don't know. Um, it may be seven by seven, but I've seen them pretty large. Uh, but this, I can actually take this out one more, and I think that would be a good option is to take it out. But for right now, we're not going to need that. Um, I'm only going to put it here and make this a three high. And all we're going to do is take this up and put an anchor on top. And what anchor does is the anchor actually pulls and uh, push it and allows us this whole platform to drop. This now become one whole platform. How cool is that? Um, and it's all connected, but we're actually going to need something else, um, which is going to be the pulley. So here's the pulley. I think we have enough of this. Let's get some wood. We should probably just keep wood in our inventory. Since this all requires wood. And all we're going to need is one pulley. We don't need anything fancy, just one pulley. And I don't think we can jump up here anymore. So let's just use this. And we'll jump up here and place the pulley. Like that. You can see a rope attached to it up here. But it doesn't currently have any rope inside. So if it if I put rope inside, it'll actually drop this whole platform down. I don't want that happening right now. So we'll leave it as is. Let's actually go ahead and make another axe. Or I don't think I might have an axe in here. Oh, I totally have an axe in here. Let's go ahead and chop this down. All right, so we're gonna have to set up a few things. We're gonna need some gears, as always. Um, we're gonna need a water wheel. So I mean, let's go ahead and get a water wheel going. I think we might have enough stuff for this. All right, so we're gonna have to do, go go to the saw. Let's see. I have enough wood. I'm just gonna take some of this wood. I did clear out some of this, as you can see over here. Um, I wanted access to the water on this side, so I went ahead and cleared it out even more. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit here at the saw for a little bit and gather the, a lot of the materials that I'm gonna need, and I'll be back. Ow. So that didn't take very long. Not very long at all. It, it is getting pretty dark, so I'm gonna have to sleep here soon. But I think we have time to go ahead and get this water wheel done. Um, at least get it made. And there we go. And I'll throw those in there. We're only gonna need eight of these. To make a water wheel, which we've done this before. But we're gonna use this water wheel for a specific task. All right, so we are going to I want to build a building around this. This is one of the things that I do want to have a building around, which we'll get to. But first, we need to get our, our structure made. And I want a gearbox somewhere back here or on the side. Either way, the gearbox section will actually uh, the gearbox um, with the redstone will actually be uh, covered by something. It won't be uh, shown. So that'll be something that I'll have to work on. But um, from this point, we do have a water wheel and we can t take a look here. So if we go one, two, three gearbox, one down two, three, this doesn't put the gearbox on the ground, unfortunately. So we may have to extend our redstone system up, I think, or we may be able to get, let's see. Uh, this is, the steel stuff requires a soul for steel, so we won't be able to get into that. But I think after we sleep, we're going to be able to get a good setup going. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it's morning time. Let's go ahead and grab a few gearboxes. I don't know how many we have, but I think that'll be enough. We have a few axles, but we're definitely going to need more axles. And of, of course, we have to manually t do the wood. I don't know why that's a thing. I may have to... Uh, Send that as a bug report. There we go. But uh, anyways, let's go and clear this out. We're also going to need a bucket. And we can go grab that water anytime. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this extended out. All right. So I want this to go out. And we're going to have this a little ways away. It can be, it can be however you, far away you want it to be. I'm going to make it a little ways out, the max that these gearboxes can go. Put the gearbox there. Let's go ahead and get this situated. There we go. And we can take this down. 
And I guess this is going to end up on the ground, which is actually just perfect. Perfect. I couldn't have asked for better. Okay, so this is on the ground. Let's set this to the right direction. Um, right, let me... Oh, wait, this actually needs to be changed. There we go. Because we're going to have power going into this. This pulley right here. Um, and we need to actually extend this. But I do need... I want this one on the ground. Because this is where we're going to set our redstone signal to turn it on and off. Um, so I can actually take this now. Add a few more pulleys. I know this is like going to be crazy with the pulleys, but believe me, it's going to work out. And I think we can set this up one. Put another gearbox here. Not on the side. If I put a gearbox here, that's going to actually, that's going to function as our, uh, this is going to function for our windmill. Give it and give it, it's going to give everything power. All right, let's turn this to this side. There we go. Perfect. All right. So if we just clear out the water or clear out the area here, I'm going to push this one more out so that way I can actually enclose this whole thing eventually. Um, and I may even go three out because I can actually put a gearbox here once we make another one. And then the whole structure will actually be enclosed because the water wheel is going to go right here. And let's go ahead and clear out a little area. Later on, we can make this look uh, you know, more realistic by adding actual water. Uh, a water stream coming from somewhere, but this should technically work. We just need to find some water, which we have it over here. There we go. Just like that, we are in water. Perfect. All right. And uh, which way do we want the water will go? And I think I'm going to put the water here flowing in that direction. And honestly, the grass stuff that shows up here actually looks really good. Uh, and let's go ahead and throw the water wheel down. Oh, we, I noticed something. So it is a little bit too high. Which is perfectly fine. That's, that's, that's to be expected that you may get setups that just don't work. Well, what we can do... We can uh, pick up our water back up. And we're going to set this one higher. And like I said, later on we can actually decorate this and make this look even better. But functionally, the fun uh, getting the functionality done is, is the first part. So, let's get some dirt... We don't need much, we just need a little bit, just to kind of make ourselves a hole here. Alright, mister... You are in the way. I did not need mean to pick you up. Shift, right click on you. Anyways, let's go ahead, finish this up. There we go, I think this has to go out one more. And water. There we go. <laughs> and he just gets right in there. All right, so this setup is now running, but uh, we have something that is backwards. Let's go ahead and turn this. And now it'll all start working. Perfect. All right. So it is currently on. Let's go ahead and get some redstone stuff set up currently. Let's get a lever maybe. Let's see. We have a lever here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this actually works before we set up the redstone for it. I turn this off, okay, and I give this some rope. So let's give it 64 rope. It's going to start letting it drop, and it's going to drop this whole thing, uh, and, and what it's doing is actually using the rope as it's dropping down. And now I can get on this rope, and it, it works as a... Uh, it works as a ladder, you know. Ow. You don't want to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and let it just drop me down. Um, I'm going to have to get, work my way back up, which is perfectly fine. Um, but as you can see, that's how that, that thing works. And now if I flip that lever, I will be able to uh, allow it to come back up. Because what it's doing is the pulley, uh, the water wheel is actually going to pull it up. So if I turn this off, it's going to start coming back up. How cool is that? Now, the, one of the problems that I know a lot of people have, how do I get this set up so that way I can flip a switch or push a button and it drop things down? Well, that's where some redstone stuff's gonna come in handy. So we're gonna need some pistons. Two sticky pistons to be exact. 
And pistons, they are kind of a expensive recipe. Because they require the solar. But let's go ahead and make two of those. And we're going to make them sticky by adding some glue. We're going to need a redstone block. Just one. We don't need two. Um, a redstone torch. And we're also going to need a button. I, don't, I didn't think we had one. Um, let's just get a re regular wooden button. And then we're also going to need... Let's see. Redstone itself. Perfect. Okay, so setting this up, um, we're gonna have to figure this out. Uh, I want the redstone pulse to go onto this. And let's see. I'm gonna need the redstone block to actually be on this. So let's, let's figure this out. Let me get a couple building blocks for right now, which will be dirt. Um, I need to figure out where exactly I want to put this. So if I put this here, um, this will be the area that it actually extends, which I, I want it to be, I want it to extend here. Okay, so I think I got this figured out. I just, I just need, needed to uh, refresh my memory. So, right here, let's move you again. Get out of the way. There we go. Place a piston there. He's got my other piston. There we go. Place that piston here. And on top is where we're going to put the redstone torch. The redstone torch is going to go, um, not here. It's going to go on the side here. And let me remember correctly. We put the button on this side, which will power the redstone torch, which will power the redstone, which will power this piston. And so if we hit this button, as you can see, it does something weird. But if we put a redstone block here, it acts a little bit different. As you see, this is now going to go down. If we flip this, though, this is a T flip-flop. Look at that. It's super simple. Um, and it's actually very automatable for what we're about to do. So let's, let's go ahead and figure this out. So currently, this doesn't actually go all the way down to the very bottom, which I do want it to go kind of all the way down. But what I'm going to do is actually let it go as deep as it's currently going. And from there, I'm going to dig down... Um, from that area. So this is currently going to work. Um, but what we need to do is we need to dig down under this and place a bunch of redstone torches. So this is where having some sticks is going to be handy and we need to set some redstone torches. So let's get some sticks. I'll grab some redstone and we're going to make some redstone torches. I think 64 will be enough. I don't think it's going to be, I don't think we're going to need that many. Because um, it is going to vary every other block we go down. Now, he is going to get in the way. So, um, I th we should be able to actually pick him up as an item. I, th I have to add him to the list. He should have... Should not be able to be picked up. We, we did it last episode, and it was just fine. For some odd reason. He's wanting to do it now. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and, and dig down from here. So, this block here is going to get a redstone torch. All right, let's get you back out. Technically, you should be... Should, should, I don't know. He, he worked last episode. I don't know why he's being difficult this episode. All right, so redstone torch here. That's going to invert that, but we're going to take this all the way down to the bottom, and I'm actually going to clear out both sides so I can see how deep we're actually going, but every, we're going to have to... Uh, alternate this every few um, <laughs> and also take care of him as we do this but as you can see it's going to be we're gonna we're gonna make sure that this one right here is actually turned off or turned on if I remember correctly I think it's turned on either way it's gonna be however we decide to flip this um, if we have to put it one more down we will I'm trying to remember. Let's actually go up. Yeah, I think that's that's the way we want it. We want it to be unlit. So that way when this does receive a pulse, whenever we push a button down at the bottom, it will work the same way. So yeah, it needs to be like this. So the bottom one that we are going to be powering needs to be turned off and it needs to be in this pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my way down here doing the, the same pattern all the way down. 
and uh, this is just how it's gonna have to be. And uh, it's a you know it's it's a thing. Oh man, and and worrying about him. All right, so once you get to the bottom, you're gonna see that your bottom one should be lit. Uh, that's what you want. You want your bottom torch, the the last torch you place, to be a lit torch. Otherwise, the system will not work. And uh, what you want to do is actually extend some redstone signal or redstone uh, dust from this this stone, and you want to be connected to the bottom piece and uh, kind of route it around. Now you you can't really do too much, so you have to, you know, kind of rig this so that way the redstone actually functions properly. And what you want to do is have an open area. Let me grab some. Uh, let me grab just some marble. We'll use marble to kind of cover this up for the most part. And uh, what you want to do is uh, just have a button here. And uh, you can cover this up. You can have it a button there. I open this up because this is where I'm actually going to mine. And we're going to have this going down. Um, we'll probably have a mine extending off a little bit in this direction and then have it going down. But this takes you through the mine. Now you want to be careful because sometimes you can fall through this, this platform. This platform is not 100%. That's why I have these side areas with stairs. Um, I am going to have to repair our stairs because a lot of it did get broken as I... Uh, move down here because I did clear out this whole area um, But yeah, once you push this button it'll activate it'll it'll pulse the redstone It'll go all the way up and it'll it'll change the T flip-flop So if you push that We should wait and BAM It'll take us out now. We have to be careful because like I said This does have a tendency sometimes to drop you um, But with this system it should Fairly be fa fairly good. I guess you could say it, it should be just just well <laughs> It should work great. That's you know, that's how it, how it should be so All right, that is How to set up The the elevator really I mean without the amount of redstone stuff that we have this is the smallest T flip-flop that you can make It really is it's a very compact T flip-flop um, now we want to set up a button um, not on this side though I think I'm gonna put a button over here so what we're gonna have to do is route redstone in this direction and all this like I said will be covered up we'll have a room here just so we can walk into the elevator and all this will be the rest will be a building but um, let's just go ahead and cover this stuff up like that and I'm pretty sure if we run if we remove the button we don't have to have a button here We'll use that button over on this side. And uh, what we should be able to do is put a button right here, I think. I think that will work. We'll have to move the redstone signal out one this direction. Um, we can even have it going up. I think that might look a little bit nicer. Also having this um, have a little open area. So this will technically be where the button's at. And the button goes here. And our redstone signal goes along the back. Like that. And there we go. Now we can even add it here, just making things look a little bit nicer. Fill this back in. And there we go. If we push this button, it'll activate the piston T flip flop. Bam. And guys, we've made an elevator. Uh, now we can, of course, remove this. We don't. We don't need this here because this is currently running the whole show. Guys, how cool is that? Now all we got to do is build something around this, which honestly shouldn't be that difficult. Really shouldn't be. Um, we can even remove the amount of rope that we have in here because honestly, the rest is just excess rope. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's looking good. Looking good. So with this guy, um, I do want to be able to pick him up like normal and not like this, because this is uh, what this is doing is pick, I'm picking him up as if he's an entity. I don't want that to be a thing. There is a way you guys can change it. If you do experience anything like this in your pack or in a pack, uh, there's a, a pretty easy way to do this. Go to mod options and we're going to go into carry on. And I do believe we can config this directly. Um, and we should be able to blacklist specific entities in the world. Um, and I think we can do open blocks. I think he's considered an entity. So open blocks. 
and then you just add the asterisk so that way it accounts for everything in that mod. And I hope that that fixes it. Doesn't. So maybe it's something different. It, like maybe the mod is different on the way that it works. We'll put them for both. Uh, we may have to even capitalize it. I don't know how that's actually going to work. Mod options. Carry on. Underneath our blacklist. Oh, it never saved. Done. That's done. It saved that time. Um, one or more changes require that Minecraft to be restarted before taking effect. Ah, that's why. Because, yeah, I'm going to have to restart the client for it to work. But in the next update, that will be fixed. Uh, you'll be able to actually pick your luggage up. Um, the update should be out. Um, usually, I update on Sundays. So I'm going to be updating the pack on Sunday. Um, if you guys are watching this at, at a different date, then that doesn't apply to you. But uh, if, you're, if you watch this and keep up with these series every day, then uh, you'll definitely know when updates come in. I am doing it now every Sunday um, until the pack is at a point where I'm not receiving any more bug reports. So if on, uh, if on Sunday I don't have a bug report, I guess the pack will be updated. So, uh, But right now, there is plenty of bug reports and uh, a little bit of stuff to fix, and that'll be fine. Uh, this is one of the things that I found. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bit more. But yeah, decorating this, I think we're going to do that next episode. We're going to set up another cottage-like house around this, and we'll have the entry in, entryway here. We may even extend this out so you have to walk into it to get into the main mine area. Of course, we can hit this button, by the way. If this is still down here, we hit that button to bring it back up. Same if it's in the bottom. If we go down here and we don't have... If this guy accidentally gets moved for some reason, we can hit the button down below and it'll actually drop it down for us. Um, this will always flip-flop uh, back and forth. It's kind of like a hallway light switch. Um, both work. Uh, the top and bottom buttons both work. So, how cool is that? And this will take us down as well. It's just a, a thing we, I mean, super cool. And we have to be careful walking on it because sometimes you might fall through. If you fall through, that's why I have these patches blades so I can just lean towards the wall and it'll uh, prevent me from falling. But they've been working on getting, uh, making sure that you don't fall through these platforms because yeah, that would not be a fun thing. But there we go. And we're back down and we're ready to go mining, guys. We are ready to go mining. So yeah, I'm going to be clearing all of this out. And uh, this is going to become another mining area. And uh, I'm going to be digging further down because right now we are not at the lowest level. We are at the lowest level that you can mine with iron. Um, I could make this extend deeper, but I would have to change the way the button's working. Um, and I think it'd just be better just to take us down this far and allow me to mine down the rest. Which I think will work just fine. And we'll have little hallways and stuff. This will This will be a nice little mining area. Which is going to be great for uh, more of a build. By the way, you can see that underneath of him. Ugh, creepy. So many legs. Oh, man. Kind of creepy. But anyways, yeah. This has been a pretty awesome episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.